Hey guys, John Luxa here, back with our playthrough of AM2R. So let's get started. Uh, save game is still there. That's that's what I was kind of sighing. I was I was thinking about it a little bit. Hmm. Oh, I need coffee this morning. Okay, so. Let's check the items collected real fast. 7 out of 10 power bombs, 5 out of 10 super missiles. So I was thinking about it, this might be where we get the ice beam because they mentioned something about a um, little vending machine there in the corner. Mentioned something about um, the, what is it? They have ice weapons. So we're gonna run back through this ship and make sure we pick up the lore entries because I know there's a boss fight. I didn't want to trigger it at that point, but I do now. GFR v Kaine. I think HQ wants to minimize their involvement with bounty hunters as their reliance on the latter to solve problems over the years might have made the government look weak. It is explained why Samus the famed Metroid killer wasn't hired to accompany us. This could have been my chance to meet him. I'd have started off with some small, small talk, invited him to a drink, and I'm daydreaming again. Knowing me, I'd get flustered and strike him as an awkward gal. I love... That was my favorite thing from the Metroid Prime series, was that Samus was basically a legend. You know, people weren't sure if, they was, if she was real or not. Most people don't even know she's a she. Um, un unfortunately, Metroid Other M kind of... Uh, well, in my opinion, they ruined it a lot. Okay, more lower entries. Let's go back to the beginning of the ship, because we have to cross this way. Anyway, we'll check out the log in here. I like the little... Oh, oh, that's cool. A little pinball. Beetle Blast. Nice. I think that's reference to the Metroid Prime pinball, because there was a there was a game like that. Uh, but I like the little ladder here, because it makes sense. It's like, how do you get up? You can't jump like she can. Okay, let's download that log. Captain A. Dallas. I escorted Ash back to the Thoth. After the underground camp gave him samples from what they describe is a large translucent husk. Yes, they found the Metroid Moltings. Ash has a bad feeling about it. Wait, was Ash the... In the original Alien, the, the guy that had the, the alien burst out of his chest, was he Ash? I think he might have been. Um, I wouldn't be as troubled if I'd been given far more soldiers for this expedition, along with a bounty hunter or two. HQ is confident their intel will enable us to kill the original Metroid type, if it's not extinct by now, but on what basis do they believe it's the only threat in SR388? That's a great question. That is a great question. But I don't, I mean, I don't think they were there to kill the original Metroids. I, I'm not sure why. I mean, it wasn't too fleshed out as far as I remember in the original um, Metroid 2 stuff. Um, let's just check. Nope, you can't bomb that. This is actually pretty reminiscent of the... Um, you go back to planet Zebes, Zebs, however you pronounce it. And uh, right before Kraid's area, you find some Federation soldiers. Or at least, that's I think that's what they were. It doesn't say what they were at the time. Um, but they've kind of converted that area into like a little base, kind of like this. And I think they kind of took... The people that made this, I think they took that... Uh, that visual style. Oh, I'm trying not to... Trying not to put my hand in front of the microphone, but... Um, you know, they took that visual style and, and brought it into the ship, which I think is a nice touch. Okay, let's download these. Ash's Log 68. 
Researchers notes the larva Metroid carried four nuclear organs, primarily used to stock energy absorbed from prey. For protection, it distributes a portion of the organ's power into the surrounding membrane and fortifies it. Only cold, cold temperatures can hinder this flow of energy and weaken its defense. Recent findings and events suggest that three of the larvae, larva's nuclei eventually changed into stem-like cells on SR388 to be used as building blocks for later forms. But why only here? Is it something in its food or some radiation the planet emits? Uh, we never, we never learn, at least not until... I don't even know if Samus Returns covers it. Ashlog number 71. The larvae on SR388 are voracious until they metamorphose, at which point their hunger subsides. Offworld Metroids cannot normally shed their larval form, which, which I believe is a side effect of their adaptations. And in the picture, you can kind of see some of the other, the other forms. Um, specifically the ones, like the upper left, I believe, is the Mocktroid, like a, a fake one that you encounter in Super Metroid. The lower left, I don't remember. That might be the Fission Metroid from Prime. And then uh, the one on the right is the... Hunter Metroid from Prime 3... But it's, it's kind of neat to see, like, different adaptations, you know. I mean, for some reason, I, I have issue with the uh, evolution of the Metroids, like the Queen and the stuff, but, but the little, you know, adapting for different environments. Because their, their whole point is they're kind of the perfect hunter. You know, their whole thing is they just attached to an organism and just drain its energy just straight up so you don't really need like a mouth or you know if all you do is attach to something that's it you know the nuclei likely alter in function when the metroid is removed from sr388 changing into specialized cells that help the creature tolerate its surroundings wow i'm sorry this, along with new environmental factors, cause subtle or drastic changes to its body. Regrettably, the Metroid is stuck in perpetual hunger as it tries to reach a form it can no longer obtain. That actually makes a lot of sense. Okay, number 82. Researchers notes. The presence of compact, compact nuclei render the larva highly responsive to radioactivity. For example, beta rays, see, I, I did remember. Uh, caused them to divide and multiply within hours, a fact that aided the space pirates in keeping a supply of specimens from many operations. Other radioactive elements enable off-world metroids to bypass their larval phase and mutate into powerful aberrations that, if not reported by Aaron herself, I'd have disregarded as fiction. Um... Wait, but this is before... No, wait, Prime occurred when? Immediately after one? I think so. Or was it after Super? I don't remember, but... Uh, let's see... Okay. Out of disregard as fiction, it's gravely concerning to think how other forms of radioactivity can affect Metroids, and why our government must take action before anyone gets their hands on them again. Right. Okay. No, I think, um... I think Prime took place after... After one. Was there anything in here? I don't... I don't think so. Okay. I need to play Prime again. That was really good. I loved reading about how the, uh... The space pirates would like experiment on themselves or on each other and some of the just some of the messed up things they did like they tried to mi mimic Samus's morph ball and they'd like shove one of the space pirates into like a ball form and it's like the subject did not survive it's like yeah yeah <laughs> that and their obsession with tubes right tubes So here are, I mean, that kind of looks like Fantoon, 
that kind of looks like Dragon a little bit from Super Metroid. Uh, this, I don't... I don't know what that is. This one's missing. What a shock, right? Now we have energy tank. And the lights just came on, didn't they? Well... Okay, scanning bioform. There it is. Genesis, an ambush predator. This blind animal has adapted to hunt in the dark, relying on its specialized senses to stalk prey. Its body offers little protection and will attempt to conceal itself in the shadows as a result. Its acidic blood is used as a projectile via auto hemorrhaging. The Genesis naturally hunts in groups, making it a highly successful species with little need to evolve. Its DNA suggests it belongs on the oldest living lineage to the oldest living lineage on SR388, granting its name. Oh, there it is. Oh, hey, there we go. Oh, ouch, ouch. I don't know if I'm hurting it, actually. Well, I tried. Oh, hey. Okay, I think... I think when it cries out, that's when it, uh... I think that means we're hitting it. Okay, we got it. Alright, we'll take it. That's a cool little boss. Um... You know, kind of, uh, reminiscent of the original Aliens. Right, because that's the whole, uh, that's the, uh, man, I can't, I can't think at the moment. The inspiration. Uh, that's the whole inspiration for the, uh, Metroid series in the first place. I was really hoping I'd get the ice beam here, man. Well then. Okay, so now we're kind of at the point where we... Okay, I thought there might have been something else. Because of the, uh, you know, the little ladder. Alright. Uh, so I believe that area is clear. Let's head back down to... That log entry updated. Uh, let's see. The carrion eaters have approached the vicinity, drawn to the scent of decay previously trapped within the thoth. So these guys are carrion eaters. Well, can't do anything about that. I guess that's why they're not hostile. And actually, it explains what happens to all the dead animals. Like, Samus is pretty good at exterminating whole planets and everything, so, uh... So, yeah. Okay, where... where to now? Because we still have this, right? We have that central... hub, and we've gone to... Uh, let's see, that's one, two... three... There's a fourth one, though. We have only gone to three of them. Okay. Let's see, which would be the faster way back? Probably to the right. Or would down be faster? Um, we'll go to the right. The right and up a little bit because right screw attack for the win it's nice to get uh super missiles i almost said power missiles but that would have been wrong not quite sure power bombs and super missiles give me such uh such a hard time
It's really not... It's not a big deal, to be honest. Uh, okay, right down and... Cross. This way we'll hit a save point also. travel so much more convenient, although, well, not going to be able to do anything about that for the time being, and then straight across, kind of, over and up a little bit. So I think the next big upgrade that we need is the ice beam. I mean, we only have two big ones to go. <sighs> okay. You know what? Let's check the equipment real fast. Right. Uh, ice beam and gravity suit. Either of those will... Ooh, hey. Hey, buddies. Where am I going? Down and left. Oh, that... That makes it a lot faster. Ah, oh, there we go, okay. I was like, I know it's somewhere in here. Okay. Okay, so we've been to this one. I would say we have not been to here, so let's give this one a go. Okay, here we go. So this is where we're supposed to go, and... Ooh, that's kind of flickery in the background. What is this? Oh, what is... Oh, it interferes with our weapons, so we can't... We can't shoot. Can we use missiles? No. Can we use bombs? Also no. But we can use the screw attack and all of our everything else. Okay. So this is neat. This is a neat little area. Right. So I guess the gravity suit is going to affect this. This, I don't know what this is going to do in the background there, but, uh, or to the recording, but... And, uh, well, I'm sure we'll... Oh! This field is not... Right on. There's gaps in the field. Okay, cool. All right, well, let's go up, I suppose. And, of course, we can't go in there yet. That's probably the ice beam, then, I assume the... Okay. Oh. Well, then. See, this is clever. Because I can't... I mean, unless it's like... Oh, wait, hang on. Almost. And that's not screw attackable, so it's probably speed booster. Oh, well, good. Okay, let's... uh. Right. Okay, don't... Hmm. Let me try something else. There we go. Okay, well, let's try the jump. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, let's try this. Yes, right on. Oh, what's up here? Oh, that's probably how you get back out. I suppose, or... Well... Yeah, how you got around it in the first place. Kind of, you know... Nice! Okay, gravity suit! I'm ready! Looks like Dark Samus there for a second, which is awesome. Gravity suit, liquid friction eliminated, improved defense. Hell yeah, now we get the customary purple look. And see, the this stuff doesn't bother us anymore, which is what we need. It's what we need. Aha. I was like, hang on a second, then I looked at the map and I saw the, the walls. Okay, that makes sense. Where's this gonna go, though? Oh, probably down to that other section. Right, I, I half figured we'd get the ice beam in here as well, but... Uh, no, they're gonna... They're gonna tease us a little bit more. They have to, they have to hold stuff back a bit. Is this a boss area? This feels like a boss area. Maybe not. And the background's changed also, which is nice. Okay, I don't think you can kill that thing, and I don't think these things even really bother you, so we'll, uh... I mean, I guess I don't need to kill them all. Just kind of hopping back and forth. Okay, let's head straight left and hit that save point up. Um, okay, maybe. Aha! Well, that makes sense. You want to lock it behind some power bomb stuff. If you're going to expand your power bombs, you may as well protect it with power bombs. And there's more carrion feeder thingamabobs. That's the technical term. Okay. Well, that's good. We've explored this full outdoorsy area. So now we can go back in here. Back inside. That's kind of interesting, right? Aha, okay. I was like, why is that thing right there? Of course. I love how the little Chozo eyes come back on also. Alright, now that door is open that we couldn't go in before. Which is probably for the best. I mean, we... I don't know, it would have been hard to get through that water area with all the spikes. I'm sure there's really skilled players out there that can do it, though. I am not one of them. Okay, where to? Let's try going... Down... Like here, because there's that little area to the left, and I don't remember what it is. Okay, that's Ice Beam, so... So we can't do anything with that yet. Uh, what we can do... Is... What? Well, I guess we have to go up into the left and all the way out, pick up that little thing, and then down and choose whichever one of those we can get past at this point. It's, uh... Yep, 
Yeah, it's not dumb. Oh, oh, right. Okay, all right. Let's do it. Oh, that kind of worked. Didn't work super well, but it kind of worked. All right, back outside. And no. Okay, but this is... Oh, hang on. Let's... I need to know where to jump, so let's... There we go. Ow. Ow. So, here, here-ish? You fish. You fish are not an enemy, or... I don't know. <laughs> not a threat. That's what I was... Was it here? Right on. Okay. That worked out. Man, these fish are really aggressive. Aggressive. Okay. Uh, door number one or door number two? Yep. Okay. Door number one. Oh, well, okay, that kind of worked. There we go. Pick up the missile tank. I believe that was it. Okay. That's a little unexpected, but oh, well, oh, right, 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 because we're coming from, we're going to shoot up from, shoot up from down, is that the right? Oh, yeah. Okay, this area is starting to get a lot bigger, but another missile door is something that is good. Oh, this is a boss. Probably. The fact that doors open means we're probably going to need the boss for... or, uh... I mean, maybe it's a boss. Who knows? That's... not quite what I expected. Let's, uh, let's... let's try it. Oh, I see. Yep, we need the, uh... Need the ice beam. Weird. Because that was a red door. Well, I guess we keep going up. We'll go, we'll go to the right. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Oh, Metroids. Right, remember these things? Okay. Oh, wow, that took extra hits. That shouldn't have happened. Oh, we're down to... Well, that was the uh, last two Metroids for this section. Is it weird that I forgot about the Metroids for a minute? I was just having so much fun exploring and getting new items and stuff. Okay, so lava has receded, which means it's probably this lava right there. Um, oh, that's cat hair on the microphone. I mean, there's more. I didn't get all of it. How much is... How many Metroids are left? Six? Six total. Now, we also know there's a queen, so... That's not quite the actual number. 
But for all intents and purposes, it's close enough. And I was really hoping those little guys would give me super missiles, but that's not quite the case. It's not what happen is happening at the moment. That's okay. You know, I don't want to be greedy. I am greedy, though, a little bit. I want super missiles, damn it! <laughs> okay. Maybe we'll get the ice beam here. Or not. There we go. I was like, I know there's another way. Ah, interesting. Let's see if we can get that. Oh. Okay. Well. Back away. Hang on a sec. What was that little, um... There was this little thing, right? Oh, well, okay. Where do I want to go using this? I guess back down here and then down. But I think it would be faster just to go back this way. Go up, 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 up. So one more energy tank. Well, those guys give you nothing. Well, then again, I think I'm full, so never mind. Like I said, I don't want to be greedy. Oh, there you go. You can break them with the, or kill them with the uh, speed booster. back down and oh there's another door so let's go this way anyway right right of course oh well oh that made him mad all right, a little bit of a challenge here. Oh, oh, you, they're clever. They're very clever. Okay. Just to be on the safe side, because it's containers, or... See, that that doesn't make a lot of sense from a, a Chozo standpoint. Right? Because it's like a, a walled-off room in the middle of nowhere with some storage containers in it. But, you know, it's fine. Two new doors. Let's go this way. Because <clears throat> this way goes back towards... Oh, well, that, that hurt. Right. Okay. Towards where we would have needed... I'm assuming... I mean, you know... It's the only upgrade we don't have. It's got to be the ice beam that works on those things. Which means this, down here, is where the ice beam must be. Missile tank. I see. That's not destroyable? No? Okay.
Ah, oh, crap. I, uh... I jumped instead of... There we go. Ouch. Oh, this is interesting. Why is there... That's kind of interesting, right? Though There's like a gap right there. Okay. Oh, okay. Got it. Right here-ish. Man, I'm gonna miss that. I think it's like this one. Got it. Right on. Beautiful. Super missiles for the win. All right. Whoa. Spikes. This seems unlikely. Oh, okay. Very. Alright. Then what? That's the last energy tank we need, but is that the only way? Maybe it is. Uh, I mean, there's still that one other passage, but I don't have the ice beam yet, so I guess we're heading back. No, this reminds me of, um, if you've ever played Castlevania Symphony of the Night. There's that hallway full of spikes that you need. The bat form and the sonar and the other stuff. I don't think I can go through there, though. Let's go up and around. Right, that's why... Too soon. Or too late. Too late. Not too soon. Uh, of course. So... <laughs> oh, you. They want you to go... Yeah, to like, here. And then use it. That's kind of a pain, but... Come on, man. I guess they want to ensure... Oh, no! I'm gonna miss it! I wasn't fast enough. The timing on the space jump is... Well, it's not tricky, but... Half a second too slow. Okay. Boom. Watch, I probably just missed the... Probably just missed the, uh, this ice beam. But they want you to know how to use the speed booster, which is fine. You know, I, uh, oh, you, oh, you. I got a little bit more familiar with the speed booster when I was playing Zero Mission. Because holy cow, that has some really hard ones. Like you have to run through this area and then turn into a ball and then, you know, hit a ramp, like speed, uh, shine spark with the ball and then you gotta hit the... You know, it's... Oh, hang on. Well, that's, um... That's not great. I feel like it's a real... If I miss the ice beam somewhere, I'm gonna be a little upset, but I... 
I don't know. We'll have to see. Did I? I went through that whole, like, weapons lock area. And I got the... Gravity suit. I don't... I don't think so. They would have... Clearly put it out there, I would think. But we'll see. We will see. Alright. So up to this one, and then... Alright, more coffee. I'm almost at the stopping point anyway, which is... To be honest, I'm a little bit unhappy about that. Like, I feel like we've made... some progress, but not as much as I would have liked. It's like, if you wanna... If you wanna come at me, all you have to do is say it. Oh, did I... I went too far, didn't I? Yes, I did, but that's all right. It's okay. We'll just run back. That's easy enough. Screw attack kind of trivializes everything, which is nice in a way. I should say trivializes most things. Okay, I have to go over here and fill in that last little square. Because that's actually what I did the... There we go. The first time around before I lost my save, which... I'm like super paranoid about that now. You would, you would think they would have some kind of a check. Okay, I didn't miss anything there. You've got to be effing kidding me. Okay, I guess I missed the ice beam. Where did I miss it? And how? It's probably something like super trivial that I overlooked. Okay, any areas... Well, there's that area. You know, it might be there. Let's go back there and check, because... Just because there's that... Um... Like, I saw one of those gel wall things. It might... There might have been a way around it, and I just was dumb. And I didn't... You know, not thinking. Not thinking like a Metroid player. Okay, how do I get there? Down. Oh, that's... not what I meant to do. There we go. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, over this way, left, left, right, whatever, up. Was that too far? That might have been too far. Ah, well. Right, because this had the... Also, we didn't fight the boss. There was a... See, this is me being a dumbass. There we go. I like how the, the orbs are even, like, color-coded, right? There we go. Instantly freeze enemies. Extra damage. Hell yeah. 
And it looks cool. There we go. That's how it's done. No, I know there's a boss. At least I thought I remembered the boss. From, uh... Yes, here we go. Ceres. I think we just found the skeleton of it in, uh... Metroid Fusion? I don't remember... I don't... We fought it, but it wasn't, like, the actual thing. An amphibian predator capable of reaching ultra-high speeds, making it the fastest animal on SR388. Layer of skin on its underside serves as respiratory... Sorry. It serves as a respiratory organ and is sensitive to sun drops and temperature. Its many eyes and segmented body allow great efficiency in vision and body movement. When a Ceres moves to a new location, it digs passages to channel the water from its previous home to prevent dehydration. This behavior likely flooded the distribution center. Right, so it's gonna like zip around or something, I think. Oh crap. But also, it will destroy the... Wait, hang on. Okay, I can shoot its body, which is nice. Let me, uh... Okay. Oh no, hang on. Freezing it does work. You probably freeze it and then shoot those sections. Where... Come on, buddy. Where are you? Oh, it has a hard time getting through the pipes. I probably should be better at this, but I'm I'm not. So that's you know. Am I? I mean, I I assume I'm hurting it. Maybe. I guess that's it. Right on, and now we have the ice beam. Finally. That's a good way to end. Let me uh let me get to 89% of stuff. Let me get to I love that so much. That is the coolest thing. You shoot them, they float. Everybody floats down here. Oh, that was... That's... Okay. Oh, crap. There we go. Whoa. I just realized it kind of looks like Samus is doing the dab while she's shine sparking. And now I can't unsee it and I'm really unhappy about that. So that was it. That's what happened. They broke... Saris broke the pipe. Oh, Saris. Alright, well, let's get to um, where we want to go, kind of. Carrion Eaters. I mean, they're, you know, they're a necessary part of the environment. Just not the most pleasant one. Or at least we think it's not the most pleasant. Okay. See, I feel much better now. I was like, the ice beam has to be here. It has to be. 
And then I was like, I guess it's not. And then they put that little this thing just to make sure it's like, no, it's actually there. Oh, hello. Oh, well, that's that's kind of neat. It's a faster way to get down. You don't need to screw attack. All right. Yeah, this is a good place to stop, I think. We're at 50 something minutes. And then uh, next, obviously, this probably is going to connect to there. So we have six Metroids, six Metroids left. Six. Uh, actually, hang on. Is there a way? Was there other stuff up here that I missed? It's it's possible. I will have to. Oh, there's that. But I doubt there's anything in there. Because I do plan to get to 100. 100% of items. Oh, I guess you have to leave and come back. That's fine. We want to... Um, I definitely want to get that so I can see this new ending that got put in. Uh, so we'll quit. We will quit. Anyway, thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. I hope these episodes are good. Um, I hope... Well, I hope all the games that I play you guys enjoy um that that's it i try you know i was thinking of ways last night to make it a little bit more interesting um you know i, I want to kind of this is going to sound weird maybe but challenge myself to make them more interesting i'm not going to be like oh yeah it's this is amazing blah 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 and be all fake and stuff because i want to be as real as possible i don't like um I hate, I hate watching someone and like really liking them at first and then you realize it's just an act and uh, that immediately kills like 99% of the enthusiasm. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to be as real as possible. I'm trying to keep the energy up just a little bit. <clears throat> um, but I'm trying to think of ways to, to make things, you know, I mean, if, if you guys like it how it is, that's fine. Let me know. Any, any feedback you guys do have, let me hear it, you know, if it's if it's a little bit boring or, or if you think there's something I could do to to make these um, these episodes a little bit more interesting or, or, or anything like that, let me know. You know, I'm trying to do, or, or the plan is, you know, to at least, like with the Metroid stuff, I'm a huge fan and so I want to kind of throw out little bits of trivia and, and other stuff like, oh, this, this design looks similar to this. And that way, hopefully, it's at least kind of, kind of entertaining to watch. Um, but I don't know. I can only do what I can do, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So that's all I have for today. So what is your guys' unique positive moment for today? For me, it sounds weird, but like I said, these are these are really kind of small, small happiness things. Uh, it rained. It rained this morning, and that was kind of nice. I don't care so much for the humidity afterwards, but uh, the rain itself was nice to listen to. So... That's good. That's my unique positive moment for today. Hopefully your guys is just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. I thought I saw cat movement. Um, but until then, guys, take care.